What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It is uh, predictions time for round three of the Rugby World Cup that is kicking off tomorrow at this time of recording when France take on USA and the All Blacks take on Canada. Interesting weekend we saw last week. I mean the highlight of it or the talking point. I mean Japan upsetting Ireland in what was one hell of a performance from the Japanese. But enough about last week. Let's focus on this week and what's in store for us in what should be another cracking week of World Rugby. And I cannot wait to get started in watching these games, well, especially on the weekend, because unfortunately I work in the week. So hit that subscribe button, join this channel as we continue to grow. Big shout out to all of you, new and old, for the support. It's been one hell of a journey. Let's go. France versus USA kicking off tomorrow morning in what should be a fairly predictable result. You know, we've seen France come away with the win already of, of the Rugby World Cup. Obviously, USA losing their game last week. Um, France, I think, surprised us a bit with their performance against Argentina. It wasn't the hottest of games, but a fair performance. And they picked up that all-important win. One win that I did not see happening. I pretty much saw... Um, Argentina walking away with it, but the French can prove us wrong and they are known to do this in a Rugby World Cup. So France versus USA, going at it, I'm definitely going France to pick up their uh, second victory in the Rugby World Cup. Can we see USA upset them? I just don't see that happening. Um, France is just on another level at this stage compared to the USA. But hey, anything can happen. It's World Rugby, it's Rugby World Cup. Japan beat Ireland, can USA beat France? We go on to the next one on the same day, New Zealand versus Canada. Obviously, I've done a video on this, so I've got more detail in there. But um, this one is fairly predictable. I mean, no disrespect to Canada. Uh, they're not a really well-known nation, and you're playing up against one of the greatest rugby teams of all time, the All Blacks, who will be on point to continue their dominance. They beat, obviously, South Africa in a fairly important game for them. Um, and what a way to start. They've had a bit of a, like a week or so off. So now they're going to start off fresh legs. Interesting squad they've chosen. So it's going to be definitely a very key point to see how the Barrett brothers um, do having been all selected. You've got Richie Mwanga still on the field. So I'm very curious to see how the All Blacks take on this game. But honestly, no disrespect to Japan. I see this being a walkover. If not the biggest walkover of the World Cup. You never know. Maybe Canada will put up a fight or two. But I just don't see that happening. I just see the mighty All Blacks being that one ahead. So I predict a fairly, fairly high score. Probably over 50 or so. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? But All Blacks are there. Next up, we go to Thursday. We've got Georgia taking on Fiji. This could be a very interesting game. Fiji picking up two losses. Obviously, their big one which shocked us. But against Uruguay, but Georgia, you know, they came off a good win against Uruguay. So they'll be a bit on the confidence side. Fiji needing a win to at least leave the competition with some hope and confidence. As for Georgia, they'll be wanting to continue that winning form going into the next game. This could be a very interesting game. I mean, a lot of people might say, ah, uh, nothing that big there. But, you know, watching these tier two nations play is exciting because they want to prove a point. They want to show the world what they're made of. So you can never write these guys off just yet. It's going to still be a flipping good game. And, um, we should technically enjoy watching it, with all due respect. I would be looking forward to, to seeing this if I wasn't at work. But um, I'd say the winner there would probably be Fiji. They need this win badly, and I think they'll end off on a, a winning note. However, Georgia, you can never count them out. They're obviously known for doing things. A lot of talk with Six Nations and all that stuff, so you can never count them out. But I just don't see them picking up. I think Fiji's going to be too strong and dominant in that encounter. There we go, same day, Thursday, late in the afternoon for South Africa, obviously, evening in Japan and um, America, and New Zealand, sorry, and Australia. We've got Ireland taking on Russia. Now, Ireland, obviously, having lost to Japan, are going to need to really redeem themselves. Obviously, they're not in as much trouble as one would think because, you know, we still got, they still beat Scotland, who are technically you'd think would be second favourites in this log. So it's going to come down to the all-important Scotland versus um, Japan clash and how many points get scored and all that jazz. But Ireland are still fairly comfortable in this tournament. Obviously, Japan was a big upset for all, I think, rugby fans. No one saw it coming. 
but an amazing performance from Japan that no one could take away from them. Um, if we look at Russia, yeah, they've got two losses to this tournament already. Um, not very well known, not very, but they've had a few hearty performances. So for that, I will give them credit, but I think Ireland need this win and they're going to need to dominate. They'll definitely get a bonus point victory over, over Russia, in my personal opinion. I just see, see that happening. Then we go to Friday. Friday is a big day for South Africa. We play Italy. Now, one would think, why? I mean, Italy, you know, they've won two games. They're getting bonus points. South Africa have obviously lost 1-1-1. One, one, one. Against Namibia, I wasn't too conf uh, convinced. It wasn't like a, wow, we donated them and we're walking away. We had our moments of, of, of slackness. Within that first half, I was not impressed. I expected more from the Springboks. I expected a higher result from the Springboks. So Italy are going to definitely walk in there with a lot of confidence. They now know if they beat South Africa, South Africa are technically on their way home. Um, unless we can score major points or there's another upset. But I'm nervous for this game, especially after watching Ireland versus South Africa. You know, Italy is going to have a lot of confidence and they're going to think, well, if uh, Ireland versus Japan, sorry. If Japan can do it, so can Italy. Italy's beaten us before. They've beaten us in the past period of four years' time under Alistair Kutsia in a very terrible time of Springbok rugby. We've come a long way f from there. And obviously, I'll dedicate this more in that video. But uh, I'll stick to what I said there or will say in the video. It's South Africa to win that game, but it's not going to be easy. I want us to really win with a bonus point if we can, but it's going to be tough. So may the best team win. Good luck, Italy. Good luck, South Africa. It's going to be a hum ding on a match. Luckily, my boss said we can watch this one. I can't stream it though on YouTube, but I will be watching it. Then we got Saturday coming up, Australia versus Uruguay. I mean, Uruguay had a great performance against Fiji. Everyone is talking about them. So much hype. Fortunately, losing to Georgia. But, you know, they've already put their names down on the map. People are talking positively. So they picked up that all-important victory, which is great for them. Australia, obviously, having their ups and downs. You know, Wales and Australia, where there was a lot of talk of the referee and all that jazz. But uh, they're going to need to just forget about that, focus on what's important, getting further in the tournament. And that they're going to need to beat Uruguay with a solid bonus point. Australia have beaten Fiji, so they're definitely going to feel a lot more confident going in it, but they're pretty much sitting at second place unless Wales is an upset. But um, you know, Australia just need to focus on going, moving forward and getting ahead of the game. So Australia to win that one solidly for me, bonus point. Next up, we've got the, probably the game of the weekend, England versus Argentina. Uh, there's going to be a cracker. I mean, there's already been shots fired. Um, Augustin Creevy has already chirped and said um, England are boring. England know what they are capable of. They're a strong team. They've got two solid wins in the tournament. Um, they're going to be looking for, for, for some blood. Argentina, no. If they want any chance of this competition, they've got to beat England. So it's a very, very important game. They're definitely going to war this weekend. I will be streaming that. So make sure you tune in to the channel on that. That's going to be a cracking game. I'm looking forward to it. But I do, however, think England will pick up that victory. Not sure by how many points, but England should win that one. Then we go to uh, Saturday as well, 12.30, Japan versus Samoa. A lot of people are talking, can Samoa pull up an upset here? But for me personally, Japan are just on the rise. They're looking good. They're looking sharp. There's an opportunity for them to get to the quarters now. So they're going to want to win. And I'm going Japan to win comfortably over Samoa. I'm hoping they get a bonus point just so they can put that much more pressure on the other teams in the group stage. Then we go to Sunday, New Zealand versus Namibia again. You know, you've got the mighty All Blacks who are a strong, a dominant nation. Namibia showed some heart against South Africa, but at least, unfortunately, I don't see them picking up a victory. New Zealand to win by a, a probably 50 or so more points. And the final game of this round is on Sunday, where you've France taking on Tonga. Again, the French are going to want to continue form, depending how they play um, to tomorrow, but obviously they'll go away with, with a victory. But um, I'm expecting them to also beat Tonga on Sunday. Again, should be a fairly predictable game. But it, you can never write out these Pacific Island teams. They're strong. They can hurt you. They can destroy players. So be careful and play safe. That's going to do it for predictions for round three of the Rugby World Cup. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Could we see another, uh, another upset? 
this coming weekend? That's my question to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay safe and never give up.